Hi, I'm Mariangela da Conto, and you're watching ESA's Earth from Space program. Today, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over Darmstadt, home to ESA's European Space Operations Center. The image pictured here shows the Frankfurt Rhein-Main region in south-central Germany. With a population of almost 6 million people, the region includes the main cities of Frankfurt, Wiesbaden, Offenbach and Darmstadt. Frankfurt, Germany's fifth largest city, is located on both sides of the Main River. The southern part of the city contains the Frankfurt city forest, the largest inner city forest in Germany, visible in dark green. Frankfurt Airport can be easily spotted southwest of the city centre. The Rhine River can be seen in the left of the image. It flows for around 1,230 kilometres in a northerly direction through Germany and the Netherlands, before emptying into the North Sea. Darmstadt is located between the Rhine and the Odenwald, a forested plain in the bottom right of the image. Darmstadt is often referred to as a city of science, as it's a major centre of scientific institutions, including ESA's European Space Operations Centre, ESOC, and the European Organisation for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, UMESAT. ESOC is home to the engineering teams that control spacecraft in orbit and across the solar system. On the 21st of November, the Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich Ocean Monitoring Satellite will launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from California. And once safely in orbit, ESA's operation center will take over the reins. Over the subsequent days after launch, the Sentinel-6 mission control team will maneuver the satellite into its correct path. Copernicus Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich will replace the JSON series of satellites, currently providing data on Earth's oceans. Once in orbit, it will fly in tandem with the JSON-3 spacecraft it will replace, and then fall into position right behind it. Once the Sentinel is through the critical early phase and drifts towards its target orbit, UMETSAT will complete the final orbit acquisition and take on responsibility for commissioning, routine operations and distribution of the mission's vital data. Copernicus Sentinel-6 will join a fleet of Earth's monitoring spacecraft in the low Earth orbit, flying at a mean altitude of 1,336 kilometers. ESA's Space Debris Office, also based at ESOC, will be on hand through the critical early days, monitoring and calculating the risk of collisions with swirling space debris and advising on how to keep the mission safe. And this brings us to the end of this edition. From the ESA Web TV Studios, I'm Mariangela D'Aconto. Thanks for watching and see you next time.